I tell you what always impresses me whenever I come to DSDL or meet people, it's actually the people in DSDL, the experts, the passion, the knowledge, their ability to think about what the problem is they're trying to solve. And some of the stuff I've seen is not about basic discovery science, it's about integrating different technologies and innovations to make the thing that's needed for the purpose. And I think that sort of practical, endpoint orientated approach to science and innovation I think is great. Well, DSTL is the national resource for defence and security science, and therefore it's at the very heart of what I think is going to be increasingly an ecosystem of what's done within its own four walls, what's done in SMEs and big companies, what's done in academia, and how all of that comes together to create a resource. Well, DSDL science is crucial for um, the defence and security of the country. And you know, in my time as government chief scientific advisor, I've interacted with DSDL a lot because they're the place you turn to to get either practical help, to get advice, to get on-ground operational science and it is really a jewel in the crown that we need to look after to make sure that it can be thinking not only about what do we need today but what do we think about tomorrow and how do we think about the science that's going to evolve in 10, 15, 20 years time because that is what future generations are going to need and DSTL needs to be very forward-looking as well as able to deliver the things that are needed now.